Hello, my name is Aaron Skazny, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a bow tie. So what is a bow tie? A bow tie is a descendant of what was called a crevet, or nowadays they call it an ascot. And as we can see here from Freddy from Scooby-Doo, he wore one throughout his seasons on TV, and it looked great, but they needed to come up with something different. So the bow tie came up about. Um, so what was a bow tie made for? It was made to stay out of the way, easy to tie, and look great and stand the test of time. Now, with this, they thought they needed something that would go through an active and busy workday and stay out of the way of what your hands were doing or what you were doing and not have the normal tie swinging in the way. Um, so things you'll need for this is obviously a good fitting dress shirt and the bow tie. Um, the shirt, great fitting shirts is the key to a proper bow tie. Um, I always use the two finger rule. Um, so if you can fit two fingers in between your neck and the shirt and have it still be comfortable, that's a good place to start. If you can fit three or four fingers, um, it might be a little bit too loose. Um, if you can only fit one and it's pressing against your neck there and kind of strangling you, it's going to be probably too tight. So you want a good fitting dress shirt so the bow tie doesn't sag down and pull your collar down on your shirt, or it doesn't, it's not so tight that it's changing your voice, or it's strangling you throughout the day. So the bow tie needs to be set to the proper length. And how we do this is on the back of the bow tie here, there's a little T um, knot here that helps you um, pick the size for the bow tie. Now the size of the bow tie should match your shirt size. So for instance, I wear a 15 and a half shirt, so the bow tie is set to 15 and a half. It's not going to be the 32, 33, um, that's the arm length in the shirt. Um, it's going to be that 15 and a half, 16 and a half, 17, 17 and a half, something like that um, is what you're going to want to set it to. So next we're just going to lay this back across our neck. We're going to make sure that top button's buttoned there. So that's step one, is going to be laying the, laying the bow tie, making sure your top button's button and your collar's up. And that bow tie, we're going to make the right side shorter than the left. So where you start to see this bulge out, if you just take your fingers and bring it up to that top knot there, that's about the proper place to start. And we're just going to let it hang till the second step. Now the second step is going to be to move the left side, or for this video, we're going to reference this to the side that it was originally on. So this left side is always going to be the left side no matter which side of the neck it's on to me. So we're going to move the left side over to the right side, and then that will step us up for step three. Step three, we're going to take that same long side that we moved over and we're going to do just like a, a regular tie. We're going to push it up through the neck and we're going to tighten it up so it's nice and snug but not too snug to where it's strangling you or um, it's making your voice change. And then we're just going to take this and move it out of the way, throw it over your shoulder. You can let it hang but I prefer to throw it over the shoulder. For step four is going to be we're going to take that short side there and we're going to move it up to where it's crossing the neck there. And we're going to start to form the shape of that bow there. We're going to start to make the shape of that bow. Now the next step, we're going to take that other side and pull it down over top. This is going to start to make a T shape on your neck and it's going to make it a very good starting point for the next step. The next step, step six, we're going to take this end now, we're going to fold it in half, bring it back through the neck, and where you were holding that top part of the bow to kind of keep everything in line there, there's a little hole that your thumb is going to stick through. And we're going to stick that through there, and that's going to be step seven there, is we're going to fold that back through and stick it through. Now sometimes, you can get it to do this, what just happened to me and where it all comes through at once. All we're going to do is take that and push the other end back through, but leave that loop through the hole. 
Now at this point, it's going to look kind of messy and kind of like you're not getting it. It's okay. Wait till the next step and we'll go from there. So step eight. Now we're going to take and we're either going to pull both of the bow sides or we're going to pull both of the straight sides. If you pull the front or the back, it's not going to do what you want it to do and it's not going to tighten. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of start to pull the bow tie back and forth, um, kind of work it through the knot, but we're going to make sure we're pulling the opposite ends. So the front on this, or the right side, front, back side, left. Um, front side, right, back side, left. And we're just going to kind of work it back and forth. You can stick your finger through the bow to kind of straighten it out there and kind of get it to work. Now, just remember, not all bow ties are tied perfectly, like you see in the store with the pre-tied one. It's okay if it's a little messed up, or it's a little crooked, or it's folded over, or it makes these creases in here. That's perfectly okay. That makes people recognize that you tied this bow tie, and it's not one that you just bought from the store. So it might take you five to ten pulls, depending on how good you are at working the bow ties. You get more experienced um, with tying these. It might take you a little less because you can kind of twist your hands and work the knot through and make it tighten on its own. And then once we get to this stage, we can kind of straighten it out there and then pull our collar back down over top of the strap. And then if your, but if your collar has buttons like mine does here, you can button those collars there down to make sure everything stays in, in place or you can leave them up. It's kind of up to you at this point. So we're just gonna kind of work it down, get it all straightened out, and, and that's all you got there. So that is the basis for how to tie a bow tie there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll try to answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much, have a great day.